In this video, we'll be solving a geometry word problem that results in a quadratic equation. A machine is capable of producing rectangular sheets of metal such that the length of the rectangle is twice the width. Furthermore, equal size squares measuring 10 centimeters on a side can be cut from the corners so that the resulting piece of metal can be shaped into an open box by folding up the flaps. If specifications call for the volume of the box to be 7,500 cubic centimeters, what should the dimensions of the original piece of metal be? Now there's a lot of words here. Um, it helps to draw a picture and then uh, label that picture with the variables that I'll be using. So I have a rectangular sheet of metal. So let me draw that. And um, it talks about length and width. So this will be my length and this will be my width. The first sentence says that the length is twice the width. So the length, that's this one, is twice the width. So now, instead of having two variables, L and W, I only have the one variable, W and 2W. So W is my variable. Furthermore, equal size squares measuring 10 centimeters on a side can be cut from the corners. So I'm going to cut away a square that measures 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. I'm going to cut that from each of these corners. So the white figure is the figure now that I'm working with. Let me redraw that. And then I'm going to uh, fold up these. These are my flaps. So I'm going to fold up along these dotted lines and end up with a box. Let me see if I can draw my box here. So the width, or I'm sorry, this dimension on the box, which I would say right here, is going to be my original length of 2w. Minus the 10 centimeters I cut from this corner and minus the 10 centimeters I cut from this corner. So this dimension right here is going to be 2w minus 10 minus 10, which will give me a dimension of 2w minus 20. Now this dimension, which will be over here, um, is my original width, and again I'm cutting away 10 centimeters for this square and 10 centimeters for this square. So this dimension is W minus 10 minus 10 or W minus 20. And then we also know that when I fold this box up, the height of the box, or this dimension right here, is a constant 10 centimeters. So that'll be uh, 10 centimeters. Then the only other thing that I'm left with in the uh, wording of the problem is that the volume of the box has to be 7,500 cubic centimeters. So I know then that volume has to be 7,500 cubic centimeters. Well, the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So length times width times height has to be 7,500 cubic centimeters. Well, my length is 2w minus 20. My width is w minus 20. And my height of my box is 10. 
just copy my 7500 here. So now I have an equation in W which I can solve. I'm going to simplify my work a little bit by dividing both sides by 10. This 10 will cancel with this one and that will make this 750 instead of 7500. So now I have 2W minus 20 times W minus 20 is equal to 750. Now we'll uh, use FOIL and multiply these two binomials. So my first terms multiplied together, 2W times W is 2W squared. And then my outer terms, 2W times a negative 20 is a negative 40W. And then my inner terms, negative 20 times W is a negative 20W. And then my last terms multiplied together, negative 20 times negative 20 is a positive 400. And that's equal to the 750 on the right side. Now we can do two things in this next step. I'm going to combine these two terms and I'm going to subtract 750 from both sides. This will cancel and give me a zero on the right side. So I have 2w squared minus 60w minus 350 equal to zero. I'm going to divide through by 2 and simplify this a little bit more, possibly be able to factor. So this will cancel and I have w squared minus 30w minus 175 is equal to zero. All right. I need a difference of 30. So 175 breaks up into 25 times 7, but that's not a difference of 30. Could do 5. 35 and those two numbers do have a difference of 30 so uh, I'll need the biggest number to be negative since this middle term is negative so I'm going to use 5 and negative 35 so w plus 5 times w minus 35 equals zero. And just a real quick check to make sure I get this middle term. The inner product is a positive 5w. The outer product is a negative 35w. When I add those two together, I do indeed get negative 30w. So my uh, zero factor property says I can set each of these factors equal to zero. w plus 5 equals zero. Subtract 5 from both sides. These cancel w equals a negative 5. I can't have a negative dimension, so I'm not going to use that solution. And then w minus 35 equals 0. Add 35 to both sides. These will cancel, and w equals 35. So from my original uh, problem up here, I see that the length is twice the width. So if the width is 35, the length is going to be 70. So my uh, dimensions are 35 centimeters by 70 centimeters.